transmission. Do you guys hear this? My rig's picking up some kind of looping message. It sounds encrypted. It's coming from the research vessel CMS Greeley. This could be really important. If I get a chance, I'll check into it, Santos. Isaac out. Hey, Santos, I made it inside the Greeley. Any luck with that encrypted message? No, but if you can find the source, maybe we can find a way to decrypt it. Roger that. Isaac out. Looks like parts of the ship are sealed off. Sealed? On purpose? Do you think you can get it open? I'm not sure. If I can get the power on, I may be able to lift the security lock down. Hold on. originating from the radio room. Set my waypoint. I'll head there. Isaac, how's your progress? I found the radio room. Just give me a minute to release this lockdown. Who are you trying to contact? Dr. Serrano? Tell me! Ah! Stop! Please! They wouldn't tell me! I don't know! Commander, this is Unit 3. 
They barricaded themselves in with the broadcasting equipment. If that's where they want to die, let them. Cut the ship's power. It'll kill their life support and cripple the transmission. What about the others? You know the orders. No one lives. Understood. No! Ah! Please! You don't understand! You can't! You can't do this! Ah! I think I pulled out something I shouldn't have. The gravity plating is tearing itself apart. The message is a warning to someone named Serrano on the planet's surface. Did you find a way to decode it? Yeah, the encryption key is in the office of Laura Ingstrom. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Yes, here she is. I'll send it to your locator. Got it. Hey, Santos. I'm sending you the decryption key now. I see it. Hold on, I'll apply it to the message. Hydro Zeta? Who's she? They must have been trying to hide her from the execution order. Her research could be the key to all of this. But why issue a cleanse order if it would destroy such an important secret? Maybe they panicked, or maybe they knew something we didn't. Isaac, thanks for looking into this. It could prove very useful. Good to hear. Well, I'm heading back. We've got a long road ahead of us. Isaac out. Getting any air. Life support must be offline. You sure this is a good idea? How long can you hold your breath? <laughs> okay, fine. If we can find the life support systems, maybe we can get the air flowing again. Look for oxygen containers in the meantime. again it's coming from somewhere in the ship what are you talking about the transmission don't you hear it i'm not picking up anything can you home in on it yeah yeah i'm adjusting our waypoints come on Stay away from it. It's 
okay. I know this. I got this. Show you. What do you mean? The marker. You saw something, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let's just Let's forget about this and find a way down to the planet. All right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, I made it to the tram. Looks like it stops at the mid and aft station. The aft station's where the shuttle is parked. Now what about mid station? Well, that would be the conning tower. Hey, now this is interesting. Records indicate a number of useful tools and salvage were signed out from storage there by a Lieutenant Tucker Edwards. Could be worth a look. Thanks. If I check it out, I'll let you know. Isaac out. Tower. I, I'm sorry, Tucker, but you heard Mahad's announcement. We're facing a Scenario 5 situation. Scenario 5? What the hell does that even mean? It means you have to die. We all do. If we don't, he'll just send someone over to do it for us. Come on, Valerie. Just put that down. I'm sorry. They don't have to know. I'm so sorry. I'm Not as sorry as I am, Commander. And if any one of them jacked up jarheads tries to come for me, they'll be sorry too. I see you. <laughs> Guess you were smart enough to make it past my lockout. So you must not be one of those no-neck dipshits on the General's Goon Squad. But before you go pat yourself on the back, you should know that was the easy part. Your day is about to get a whole lot worse.
buckle. Edwards has rigged some kind of electrical trap. Looks like a homemade job with a short-range transmitter. Short-range, huh? Well, a control box must be nearby. If you can find me... I can shoot it. Thanks. Attaboy. from environmental control when the trigger. That must be where he's drawing power. Environmental isn't far from where you are, Isaac. Here, I'll send you the coordinates. <laughs> Look, you know I'm not screwing around. And I can't just let you waltz into environmental. I don't want to die. I'm sorry. Computer, arm explosives. And... detonate. We've seen you. Warning. from your end? Nope. The only way that trap's coming down is by pulling apart the power generator somehow. It's spinning too fast. I can't see what's going on. Well, can you slow it down? I'll give it a shot. That did the trick. Gravity is reading normal again. What do you think is worse, Buckle? Dying along with everyone else, or being the only one who survives? It's not the dying that scares me. It's not making a difference before I do. You uh, should be able to make it to the top of the conning tower now, I think. If Edwards is around, that's where you'll find him. And his stash. Right. Congratulations. You found me. 
Kind of stupid, ain't it? I just wanted to live, and now that I'm the only one left, I couldn't give a shit. With all this time alone, I realize it's just like Sam said. I'm a lazy prick who never took one for the team. Well, team, you can hear me now. This one's for you. Well, was it worth a look? Yeah, Tucker had a nice pile of salvage. Good. I'm headed to the aft section now to check out that shuttle. Hopefully it's not a piece of shit. <laughs> to Sergeant Lumley's rig. We should be able to pick up his suit's transponder. Why did General send us here anyway? Boy, an army marches on its stomach. We won't last one week on this planet without our food and guns. Lumley has both. Ah, shit. Something wrong with this planet. Something very, very wrong. Make us whole. What do you suppose that means? Sergeant, please, sir, can we just get the hell out of here? Nah, no, not just yet. The transponder's further in. <laughs> you crazy? <laughs> sir! Well, wait for me!
sir. The signal's getting very close now. Sir, I don't know about you, but I haven't seen a scrap of food yet. Don't you worry. We'll all feed soon. What? This way. Understand. They must know. They must eat! Looks like the path is up here. I'm uh, going to take a look around. You coming? Yeah, sure. John, you said you were going to be gone three hours. It's been three days. Where is he? Sleeping for once. Nightmares again? Every night. Same as always when you disappear. Cut me some slack, tomorrow. I'm in the military, all right? Shit happens. Yeah? I checked with Commander Hartley. You know what he said? That you've been on administrative leave. Yeah, all right, screw this. Hey, where are you going? Are you leaving again? John! John!
He's not avoiding you, John. He's just a little scared after last time. Just think you should talk to him. I've done enough damage already. But that can change. You can change, John. How, Damara? How do I undo what I've done, unsee what I've seen? Bring back all the people I've killed? When you lose your soul, it's gone and there's no getting it back. So that's it? You're just gonna give up? I gave up a long time ago. Tomorrow. By the time you get this, I'll be... Things will be better for you once I'm gone. I can't be the husband you need, and we both know I couldn't have been a worse father for Dylan. I only hope that with me out of the picture, the two of you can have the life you deserve. Love you tomorrow. John? What's going on? Shit, tomorrow. Oh my God. You, you were supposed to be out with Dylan today. What are you doing? Nothing. Just thinking. That's all. Damar, it was... It was nothing, all right? It was nothing. Everything is fine. Everything is fine, okay? Hey. Shh, come on. It's fine. I'm fine. Okay? Place out or not? No, let's go. Sure. I guess some things are better left buried, right, Carver? Hey, anyone been out to check the armory? No. Why? Oh, shit. That's what I thought. Someone with a trail of flares and they're still burning. Oh, God. You don't think Danik and his men are. I'm gonna find out. I want all of them. Every last bullet, Private. Uh, I'm sorry, General Mahat, sir, but without the munitions key... What's your name, son? Um, Kaufman, sir. Uh, pri Private Tim Kaufman, sir. Do you like potatoes, Tim? Y yes, sir. I, I, I guess so, sir. Good. Because if you don't find the goddamn key and have those munitions on a train by sundown, you'll be peeling goddamn potatoes for the rest of your goddamn miserable excuse for a military career! Somewhere. What's so important at the train depot? Munitions. What happens if Clark finds them first? Up there! I see him! He's on the catwalk! Wait! He 
Field Sergeant Weber, sir. Can you sign for it? Sir? Are you serious? Boy, you don't know what's going on? Mm -hmm. No, sir. <laughs> Forget it. Just get it loaded onto the train. You'll find out soon enough. Here's some good news. I found a munition supply key. Great. Don't get killed before you can use it. Thanks, Carver. One sixty third. Bet they had access to some pretty cool toys. Let's take a look around. Christ. Somebody got chop happy. There are severed heads everywhere. Are you sure this is a good idea? If the bodies are still here, so is their stash of weapons. This is too good to pass up.
Something down here I need to check out. No, not again. Dylan? Hey, if you're seeing something that isn't there, you need to tell me, okay, Carver? Dylan? Carver. Dylan! She wants something from me, Isaac. What something? Who? I think she wants me to, to join them. Or... Well, whatever you're seeing, it's not real, man, okay? You gotta trust me here. You want me? Huh? I'm right here tomorrow, come on! Oh, shit! To do this. Yes, I do. You're killing yourself. And isn't that what I deserve? Huh? You gotta go. Go. I have to finish this, Isaac. I have to.
Not unless we stop the markers. The only reason I'm still alive is so I can make my shitty life mean something. So did you find what you're looking for? You know, a while back you asked me if I knew why I was doing this. Why I came to this stupid planet. And? There's a price for what I've done, Isaac. And I'm gonna see that it gets paid. The Deep Dig teams were some of our brightest archaeologists and soldiers. What happened to them down here? It served as a cautionary tale to us all. What drove them to such extreme behavior? To such depravity and violence. I have sequestered their bodies in the staging compound. There I hope to find the answers, not only to their demise, but to the workings of the artifact they discovered in the depths. naked when I found him. The self-inflicted wounds carved deep into his skin, the meaning of which I can only speculate. I had to work to pry the artifact from his cold, white hand. A curious object made of an unknown material activated, it seems, by sound. The markings are words that I'm sure of, but without a means of translating them, I'm afraid its purpose will remain a mystery. If only there were more time, I could find other examples of the script stored here and unlock it.
Final. Final. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. 